everybody, welcome back to Desert DIY again. My name is Corey, and today I am doing a requested video. Um, I had somebody request that I do a video on all the really awesome thrift and flea market and um, antique mall things that I bought while I was in Texas. I helped my sister move to Austin, and I promised myself that I would get to do something cool for myself while I was there after all the hard work of moving and unpacking and all that good stuff. So what I wanted to do, of course, was hit up the flea markets and the thrift stores and the antique malls. So I think I've visited like 37 places, which is funny because that number 37 haunts me. It's everywhere in my life. I don't know why. Um, so here's a, a haul, I guess, of all the cool stuff that I got, and I hope you like it. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you is what I think I got the best deal on, which is these metal baskets. They're kind of aged already. It's going to be hard to tell in the video, but it's a little bit like an oil wrapped bronze, but it just looks it looks older than that. Like it doesn't look like a regular average oil wrapped bronze thing. But I have 14 of these, and I got all 14 of them for four dollars. Four dollars for all of them total. Period. So this is going to be something that I probably resell some of them, and then I'll probably use some of them to make like cool little crafts out of. You'll see. I'll have videos. Don't you worry. So uh, the next thing I got is this interesting folk art piece. Let me move it up so you can see the bottom. Uh, I don't know why I just always had a thing for duck decoys. I I really can't explain why I like them. They're just cool. And uh, I don't think I'm going to keep this piece because I have really nowhere to put it in my house. And I don't like to keep things if I'm not going to use them. So I'm going to probably resell this piece unless I find a purpose for it. So, what do you think of that? This was, I think, $5. And the guy selling it was really funny. And his charisma got me to spend $5 instead of the three that I offered him. That's what being a good salesman gets you. You make somebody laugh and they'll pay $5. All right, next I have an A. Our family letter is A and our house is black and white, so this is definitely gonna be in my house. I got it for a dollar at Goodwill and it's really cute. Very farmhouse looking. Now, the next thing I got from my mom when I asked her what she wanted for my travels, um, she asked me if I could find something with my good luck that I have always finding good deals. If I could find something that was wood and metal and could be used as a planter because she's really um, interested in gardening right now. So I couldn't find anything that was both wood and metal. So I got two things, one's wood and one's metal. And the metal one is uh, some kind of tin basket that has like snowflakes on it. Seems like it was from Christmas. And it was originally $7.99, I got it for a dollar, and the bottom part of this, or the second piece I guess, the wooden part of it, um, was $0.69, cents, and I got it at a VFW, which is Veterans of Foreign Wars thrift store that was in Dallas, $0.69, cents, and it's awesome, it's literally tree bark. Pretty cool, but obviously with these holes, it needed something to hold the water in when she waters her little herbs or whatever's going to go in there. I'm going to paint this metal one. So that way we don't see that it's a Christmas bucket. So um, let me know what you think. What color should I paint it? Again, it's a gift for my mom. So she's uh, she really likes blues and rustic things, and she's really into like industrial metal stuff. So keep that in mind with your suggestions. So um, okay. So the next thing I got is this bird nest. It has a bunch of like olive egger colored eggs in it. They kind of look like quail eggs or robin's eggs, I guess. I don't know. An olive egger is a chicken that lays olive colored eggs in case you weren't aware. Um, this one cost $2.99 I believe. Alright next thing we got is this weird little pig. I don't know why I liked it so much. I kind of feel like it's a Christmas pig for some reason. Maybe it's just the fact that it has a bow on it. This was $2.99. I think I did pay full price for this at $2.99 but it's just so cute and it goes with my, my black and white farmhouse style in my house. Next thing I got was this awesome set of like primitive candle holders, like candlesticks. It kind of reminds me of those sticks you see people dip honey in and then it like drips off and all pretty. But these were $1.99 for the set. So super cute. Speaking of candle holders, I also got these two candle holders. This one was a dollar from Goodwill and this one was 49 cents. So I might fix these up and resell them 
Um, me and my mom are going to be doing a booth together at a uh, big like vintage flea market here at a place called Modella Vina Ranch. We plan on doing a, a booth there in the fall, so these might be a part of that. And then I have this cool candle holder, which kind of looks like a, a checkers board or something, but you put votives in it. It was $2.99. I think this was half off, actually, so it was probably $1.50, but it looks like it would make for some pretty awesome fall or Christmas decorations here. And then I got this interesting little platter. It was $1.99. It's black and white, floral, as you can see, and it's ceramic, and it has a gold edge on it. That was really pretty. It was my black and white thing again. Okay, now this next thing, I didn't even realize what it was until right before I made this video when I read the description. I had just bought it because it was a cute little, like, it looks handmade ceramic piece, but it's actually a bread warmer. So you put this thing in the oven at 300 degrees for 20 minutes, and then you take it out and set it in the bottom of your bread basket, like on Thanksgiving when you have all your rolls in the basket with the towel and everything. You stick this in there and it keeps it warm. So I'm for sure 100% going to be using this this year. And then I got three of these apple baskets. This is the only one that had red on it, and the other two are already in use, and they were $2 a piece. So that's pretty good right there. Okay, um, I think I'm done with everything on this side. And then um, I got these two tiny wreaths. I think I'm going to actually use them as candle holders or possibly resell them. Um, just a second, my daughter wants these eggs. Here you go. Okay, so neat little candle holders. They were 49 cents a piece at Goodwill. Or no, sorry, these were from Salvation Army. All right, next. Oh, these super heavy, cool little, I don't know. What do they call these things? I don't remember what they were called. Corbels, here we go. Oh, I'm terrible at remembering words. Okay, so. I got three of these corbels. They're very heavy. They're some kind of like handmade plaster, as you can see. It's handmade by somebody in a mold of some kind. But I got the set of three of them for $5.99. They're usually $5.99 a piece, but when I was at Goodwill, this Goodwill for some reason had a habit of not putting prices on their things. So the three of these were all sitting next to each other on a shelf, and I thought the, the price was for all three of them since only one had it. The price on it, see, no price on it. Only one had a price on it for $5.99, and I went to check out, and they were said, "Oh no, it's $5.99 a piece." And I thought, "I'm not paying six dollars for a corbel that needs to be repainted." So I said, "Well, you know, I kind of thought these were a set, and they gave it to me anyways." So thank goodness. And then I got this cool. Oops, I got this cool wooden box thing. Um, it has hearts in it, but I'm probably going to be cutting these off right here and reusing these for something, maybe for Valentine's Day. And then I feel like this sort of thing is cool. You put floral arrangements in there, or you can put, Ikea has these little 49 cent metal tins that you can put in there for forks, knives, and spoons. This was $3.99, so that's not bad at all for something that size. Another shelf here. This I'm going to probably use in my house. It was only $3.99 and I'm pretty sure it was half off. I don't know if I'd pay full price at $3.99 for this, so I'm pretty sure it was half off. But it has little hangers on the back. It's like a gray, grayish wood tone farmhouse little shelf. And then this basket I got also from, oh no, this one was from Salvation Army. It was $1.99 and it was a half off sale for that color day. So I got this big metal wire basket for a dollar and then right after that I went to one of the antique malls that supposedly um, Chip and Joanna Gaines go to in Waco because I was in Waco getting this and they were selling this exact same basket for $12.99 so obviously I got a good deal. Pretty happy about that. Um, here a lot of you will already know what this is just by looking at it, people who are pickers like me. This is a drawer from an old sewing machine. I got it for three dollars at a flea market. This is a cool book stand. It's all solid oak. You set it on the table like this and then put the books in the slot here and it holds them up. I thought that was really cute and for Halloween I have books that I made into spell books to look all spooky and witchy. So I'm probably going to use this for that on Halloween and it was two dollars. Here's another cool candle holder. This one I kind of debated for a while if I wanted to buy this or not. 
It was originally $4.99, but it was half off at Salvation Army. It has a mirror in the back, and it's all glass. And when I saw this, I thought, what in the world does this do? So I pulled on it, and look at what it does. You can pull the candle all the way up, so that way you don't have to reach in there to get the candle out, because that's a pretty small hole. I just thought it was too cool, so I got it. I don't know what I'll do with it. I might resell it. Should I paint it? Let me know if I should paint it, because I'm not sure about this being wood. like the primitive style, like those candle holders, and I got this cool picture from Salvation Army, $2.99, and it's like a, a primitive scene, of like a countryside farm, in a wooden frame, probably going to paint this frame because it's pretty beat up, but yep, $2.99, and it was originally $19.99 on the back, so I did get a good deal there. Oh, this shelf... I'm probably not keeping the apples on it. I will repurpose these apples for sure for fall. So when I peel them off, I might repaint them or I might just leave them the same, but I'm thinking about painting this part black. So let me know if you think that would look cool. Just this part being black. And then the top part, sides, everything would stay wood. This was $3.99 at Goodwill. Oh, my dog is freaking out. Go ahead, go see who's at the door. Okay, and then here, I got these like wooden wall decor, I guess. I got these at the Trader Village in Dallas, and they were $3 for the set. I'm gonna put these in my master bathroom because I need more wood tone stuff in there. I don't have a lot of wood tone. It's mostly black and white. Almost all of my house, like, main design stuff is black and white, so I need to add more wood in there. And speaking of fall, Pretty much I'm always thinking of fall because Halloween is my favorite holiday. So I got this. This was a dollar from Sabres. This was the only thing, actually one of a couple things that I got from Sabres. I got this and then I got those small little apple baskets. I got those for a dollar and this was a dollar. So I got a pretty good deal there. Um, I think that's it for my small stuff. I'm going to do another video of my big items, which um, one of my big items is an eight foot long shelf like a wood wall shelf that hangs on the wall that I got from a place called the white elephant I believe that was in Austin and I got into this big debate with the people selling it because they were thinking no way could it be five dollars and so was I because everything in there was extremely expensive but that booth was closing down and I got there like the morning he had just changed the prices in this booth so I really did get an eight foot long solid wood shelf for five dollars so stay tuned for that Thank you so much for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed this. Please comment and subscribe. I wanna know what you guys think of the things that I got. What do you think of the prices? Did I get good deals? Where are you finding your good deals? And what should I do about painting some of these items? So thank you so much.